Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And today, we're drinking a brand new rye whiskey from one of my favorite animals. Today, we're nosing, swirling, tasting, reviewing, and scoring this brand new rye whiskey from Prideful Goat. This son of a bitch is a 95.5, six-year-old MGP rye whiskey. It's unfiltered and cask strength. It is 57.5% alcohol, 115 proof. America. Prideful Goat, straight rye whiskey, batch number two. It's from Gulf Coast Distilleries, so you know they play golf. I like the shape of the bottle. It's got that Old Forester Whiskey Row shaped bottle with a bulgy shaft. A little bit of a bulgy shaft right there. It's got a goat on the front with ginormic horns. Just the biggest horns you'll ever see on a goat on a bottle of whiskey. Prideful goat, aged at least six years. Distilled in Indiana. Bottled by Gulf Coast Distilleries, Houston, Texas, 77020. It's got a barcode on it so it can be sold. In the steep hills or the rockiest of mountains, a prideful goat stands tall. Our first prideful goat releases were a great example of an older, more mature Kentucky spirit without the puffery and insanely inflated pricing we see in the hobby today. Back in middle school, my nipples and nicknames were puffery. We thought long and hard on what to do next. And thus, the Prideful Goat Straight Rye Whiskey was born. This six-year 95% rye from an all-too-familiar Indiana distillery is not too new to the market. It is, however, another line in the sand as far as pricing is concerned. While whiskey used to be a lot more inexpensive, we are dedicated to doing everything possible to keep costs low and trying to maintain the most reasonable pricing in current and future releases on the market. That was a long sentence for me. The Prideful Goat Straight Rye Whiskey is a fantastic, reasonably priced straight rye whiskey that is meant to be shared amongst friends. Welcome to the herd, baby goat. I bought this Prideful Goat from sealbags.com for $65 plus shipping. It was an $80 bottle sent directly to my door. Giving it a little bit of an SJ, a little bit of a swirl drop. Opened this baby about a week ago. Got that dastardly neck pour that we all hate out of the way. Let that baby goat breathe a little bit. I've spun the scrot out of this goat. I say it's time to go in for a little bit of a nose job. Ooh. Oh. If I was a rich girl. Na 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 na. It's just really rich smelling. It's very rich on the nose. Oh wow. Whoa. Wow. Not gonna lie. That week with a little bit of air definitely helped. And if you argue with that, then I can change this review immediately. Lots of toffee on the nose. Yo oh, yeah. This whiskey is piercing my nose with delicious toffee notes of happiness and toffee. Toffee and marshmallows. It's like a spiced up toffee marshmallow mixture. Cinnamon Teddy Graham. Oh, hells yeah. Cinnamon Teddy Graham toffee. The nose is very rich. It's dark. It's deep. It's complex. The nose is actually remarkable. The more I nose it, the spicier it's getting. It's starting to flare up a little bit. Woo! 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 One of my favorite things about whiskey is when a whiskey changes and evolves. This nose is evolving and changing and shape-shifting. Like Jonah Hill. Fat, skinny, fat again. It's like, what the heck? As far as the nose is concerned, I'm not concerned. Probably one of the better smelling goats I've ever stuck my nose in. This is a delicious smelling whiskey. Ooh. Okay. Wow. That does some things. Whew. 
flipping, swerving, twisting, turning. Who is it worth it? Let me work it. Put that thing down, flip it, and reverse it. It's worth pick it, pick it, bap, bap. Come on. That is good. That is a tasty, delightful rye whiskey. Hells yeah. I like that. Chocolatey. Chocolatey. It's got a chocolate finish. A great balance of sweetness and spiciness. It dances on the tongue and does a bunch of dance moves you haven't seen put together before. It's like the Macarena meets the robot. And then Patrick Swayze gets in there and lifts it all the way up to the ceiling and then drops it directly on its head. But luckily it's wearing a helmet because it's not hurt at all. Matter of fact, the concussion might have helped because the finish on this bad boy is amazing. Back to the nose and the rice spice is building. The rice spice is building so fast. Like a youper at deer camp trying to get his cabin together before November 14th. A little bit lighter on the palate the second go around, but the flavors are so nice. There's some bright sweetness, but there's also some like underlying dark notes. A little bit of dark chocolate, Definite toffee, prideful goat, six year straight rye whiskey, receives a score from me tonight of. Hmm. 8.1? It's great. It's a great rye whiskey. That is a great rye whiskey. I can see why this goat is so prideful. It's a fantastic rye whiskey and I think it should be happy for itself. I am super happy I picked this up. A six-year-old MGP rye is typically gonna cost you more than 65 bucks, and this bugger is deluxe. It's really well blended, it's sweet, it's spicy, and the best part is it's complex. Every time you taste it or nose it, it changes a little bit. It just alters its identity a little bit. It's got multiple personality disorder. Order, order, disorder, multiple personality disorder. For 65 bucks, if you see one of these goats, I would say it's a definite pickup. Really happy to have this goat in my moat. And by moat, I mean garage. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds but your mind on raking your leaves in the fall. When the winds of winter start showing their chilly faces and the leaves fall off the branches and onto your lawn's aces, your lawn's ass, I recommend that you rake them up off of your lawn's grass. There's nothing less fun than having snow melt and leaves appear. Guess what? I look out the window and do you know what I see? Not green grass, no. I see brown leaves. I see brown leaves. And that's just a sign of not being exactly a great yard keeper, if that's a word. Don't let your fall laziness disrupt your spring happiness. Hey, guess what? Summer's around the corner. Oh, you were lazy last fall and now all of your neighbors are gonna watch your fat ass go by a rake and some garbage bags to fix your mistake. Your children can only pick up so many leaves and put them in bags before you need to get off your ass and do it yourself. I'm talking to you, and by you I mean me, unfortunately. 